Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equation. So now I want to show you how to answer. So we need to prove that this differential equation is exact or not. So I will put about b equals to this one q equals to this one including negative sign so we have dr that means we need to do first the derivative of b with respect to theta so we just do First, the derivative of this one, so we have 2 theta. Because first, the derivative of theta square, we have 2 theta. Number 1, that is about the constant, so you got 0. And we have cosine r. We have the theta, that means we need to do first the first derivative of q with respect to r so we just have only side r in here first derivative of side r we have cosine r so we can see that this one and this one they are not the same so this one that is not about exact So in this situation, we need to transform into exact. That means we can use about integrating factor. So if we look carefully about this one, this one we see that we have two theta cosine r, we have two theta cosine r. This one we have to theta psi r. That means we need to choose about mu r because if we choose about mu r, we will have about this one when we simplify. So we need to select about mu r in here. That means we multiply both sides by this one. So because we want this one equals to this one. So if we do like this, we will have about 2 theta when we choose about B including mu theta in here. So we have 2 theta cosine R mu R. about this one that is about for this one so if we do first the derivative of q with respect to r that should be like this So, for this one, I will put on the left, and we have positive side in here. 2 theta cosine r we sum together, so we have number 4. Next, we divide both sides by 2 theta for the both sides. We simplify for this one in here. Next, we divide both sides by mu r and psi r. Next, 
now i will put the negative side go to the left Next, I will put the integration for the both sides. So the integration of this one, we have number two negative number 2 ln of the absolute value of psi r the integration of this one we have ln of the absolute value of mu r and now i will put negative number 2 go inside about natural law in here because we have the formula So B, that is about negative number 2. A, that is about this one. And now if we simplify and we have mu r equals to this one. Or we can write 1 over psi r square. That means we need to multiply both sides by 1 over psi r square in here. So this one we have 1 over psi r. Now I will put about b equals to this one and q equals to this one. So if we do first the derivative of b with respect to theta, so we have like this. And that's the about two theta cosine r over psi r square. And now, if we do first the derivative of q with respect to r, so we just have only this one, and we have two theta cosine r over psi r square in here. And we see that this one and this one, they are the same. So that is about exact. Now, we need to set up about the function f r theta. So we have the integration. So I need to choose about this one in here. And we have 3R theta. Now, the integration of this one in here. That should be about negative 1 over psi R in here. And we multiply by this one. Next, we need to do first the derivative of f with respect to theta. So we just have only this one and we have two theta. And we know that this one equals to this one 
Now we simplify for the both sides and we just have only number 0. Now we put the integration for the both sides. And this one we have C. Now we go back in here. And I will put C going here. Because this one does E equal to 3R theta. And we know that this one equals to this one. And this one equal to C. And now we can simplify like this. This is the end. Thank you for watching.